Hi everyone, so it's monthly favourites time and I know we say this every month but November has just gone. I don't even kind of remember when it started and nothing kind of has happened in it, it's just been so bizarre and we're nearly at Christmas now and I feel like Christmas has crept up on me this year, I am organised. Um, I've actually had to bring a small table in here to put the products in front of me whereas normally I'll put them by the side on the bed in the spare room but there are presents all over this bed and I have wrapped them or whatever so I am organised but still it just feels a little bit weird. Um, so yeah I am going to talk you through what I've been loving this month, it's mostly kind of makeup um, and I've got a couple of other bits so I'll start with the non-makeup bits first. The first one is the fragrance and I have kind of been chopping and changing what I've been using. I do tend to go for more kind of sweet scents during the winter and it has gotten properly cold like yesterday. It was like minus two at about nine o'clock in the evening very very cold um, but that's when I can kind of get into these types of fragrances and this one is by Kim Kardashian which I know a lot of people hate but whatever it smells good and it's inexpensive and it's the Kim Kardashian gold fragrance which looks like this I really like the packaging of this I think it kind of looks like it could be from Gucci but the scent itself is quite unusual in that it is very sweet, but I think it's kind of got a little bit of a masculine, um, a little bit of a kind of aftershave undertone to it, which really appeals to me. And it's an unusual scent. Um, along with her other scent, the original one, which is very kind of floral and gardenia based, I do think her fragrances are a little bit more complex than a lot of celebrity fragrances, which are just kind of very, very sweet. Really like this one, and I wear it a lot kind of during the winter months, and it's one that people always comment on. Then I've got one skincare item and it's a moisturiser and I have been using this for quite a while but then just realised I hadn't mentioned it and it's the Declior Velvet Mattifying Fluid. It just looks like that, just normal moisturiser. Um, and I use this on days where I'm not going out, so if like I'm having just a lazy Sunday at home which I love and I try to have as often as possible. I'll just put this on because I don't need sunscreen if I'm not going out. If I am going out, even in the winter, I do always make sure I put sunscreen on. But um, if I'm not, then this is really nice. Really kind of lightweight, easy to kind of pump out of the tube. I really like this. It's a tube but has a pump and kind of just gives you a really nice fresh feeling on your skin. You don't feel greasy. Because I sometimes feel like when I'm not wearing makeup, it actually makes my skin feel greasier by the end of the day because I'm not kind of reapply reapplying powder and blotting if it's just kind of at home. Then I've also got a body product, well it's kind of a bath and body product, and it's the Cocoa Butter Shower Cream from The Body Shop. You can see I've only got a teeny tiny bit left. I love how this smells. Um, it's I, I don't quite think it smells like cocoa in that traditional cocoa smell. I think it's it smells like a cross between baby powder and wet wipes. Which might sound a bit weird, but it's a very clean, lovely smell. One thing I will note though is the fact that it's a cream rather than a gel, I do feel it doesn't make, leave me feeling as clean as gel, um, shower gel makes me feel, so that's just something kind of worth noting, um, but really really like it and it smells lovely, but only buy body shop stuff when they have the promotion codes online because otherwise it's really overpriced. Then for makeup, I've got two blushes which I'm going to talk about at the same time, and they're not dissimilar actually to be fair, um, and this one is by Max Factor and I'm really late to the bandwagon on this because people were raving about this for ages, but Max Factor is just one of those brands that kind of not very much appeals to me from it for some reason, but this is their Cream Puff Blush in Nude Mauve, Mauve Mauve, I'm never sure, I'm going with Mauve which just looks like this. It's a very kind of unassuming colour, isn't it? It's not um, it's not very bright. It's got a little bit of kind of that baked sheen to it. And it's what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. And I really, really like it. I think it gives you a really kind of like lit from within look, but makes your skin look really healthy without being too obvious that it's blush at the same time. I really, really like this. And I'm going to try and pick up a few more of these because they're really nice. And then the other one is another one that we've been talking about for ages, um, and it's by Milani, and it's their blush in Luminoso. Luminoso. I said that bit weirdly, didn't I? Which looks like this. And this is, again, baked blush. It's a lot peachier than the other one. It has got a lot more colour to it. But one thing I will say about this is it is quite powdery, kind of when you put your brush in it. You do get a lot of kind of dust almost, which I think is a little bit odd. But I would like to try some more blushes from them, kind of slightly more wintry shades. I have been using this one um, 
kind of throughout the month but I do think now I'm going to stop using this because it's a little bit too bright and I do like to have something a bit more neutral and a bit more kind of mauvey, um, berry toned type of thing when it gets cooler so that's worth a mention. Then I have got two eye um, products, eye products. The first one is by NYX and it's the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, yet another one that's kind of a YouTube cult classic that I'm late to the bandwagon with. Um, Basically, it's just a white kind of eye base crayon. It is very white when you kind of do that with it. Um, really good base for eyeshadows. It kind of makes the colour stand out a little bit more and it also stops them from creasing um, quite well. So that's a really good find because I do really struggle with my eyeshadow creasing. Just got very, very weak skin, and I think the shape of my eyes doesn't help either. Um, and then another product that I have, I wore this loads last winter, and I've kind of got it back out again. And I've been really enjoying this type of eye look lately. I've kind of not been doing tons of eyeshadow, and I've even not really been doing lots of winged liner. I've kind of just been doing like a smudgy, kind of smudgy bronzy eye. Um, like I've got kind of a little bit of liner on the top but not winged and a little kind of brown liner smudged in and I've just been really enjoying that along with a little bit underneath as well and this is a great product for this and it's the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Amethyst which looks in the bullet like it's very similar to MAC Sable but it's actually a lot more purple, it's more on the purple side to be fair and calling it Amethyst is a pretty accurate representation if I'm being honest. It's that right there. It's very very pretty, it's got a little bit of purpliness in it and I'll just put this all over my lid, smudge it out. You can do it with fingers. I prefer to do it with a brush because it is a little bit more of a kind of um, a soft texture and it does kind of spread a little bit more and then I'll take some underneath my eye as well and I think it looks really nice and my eyes are brown but they do have kind of tiny little flecks of green in them so it does kind of make them stand out a little bit more which I think looks nice. Then lip products, I have got um, four here and they've kind of been the ones I've been using throughout the month. The first one is by e.l.f. and it is just a lip balm in Bare Kiss and I got sent this in one of the boxes that e.l.f. are doing and it's actually so nice. It looks like it's just kind of your average peachy colour but it's a little bit more, it's a little bit more rusty than just peach, it's that one just there. I really like this, it feels really nice on the lips um, and I'd be intrigued to see what other colours they do because it's just a nice kind of easy to throw on type of lip colour. Then speaking of easy to throw on, this is the Clinique Chubby Stick Intense in Roomiest Rose, she looks like that and I will swatch it here for you. It is very pigmented but um, you can kind of shear it out a little bit on the lips which is what I like to do. I kind of just put a little bit and kind of blend it in and it's a very pretty flattering pinky rose colour um, and the texture of these is lovely. They're very very moisturising but they stay put, they don't kind of slip around your lips which I find a bit annoying. And then this lip um, stick from Clinique is part of their matte range and it's called Cute Pop. It looks like that. It's just kind of one of those, you know, 90s nudes, Kylie Jenner colours, but let me swatch it here for you. It's a very flattering colour, it's just that one there, very flattering on most skin types, and it feels nice. They are very kind of silicone-y though, it's one of those that feels like it never goes into your lips, if that makes sense, it kind of just sits on the outer part. If you're wondering what my nails are, by the way, I am wearing false nails from Primark because I'm doing a video about some Primark beauty products. I've bought a couple and I want to do like a kind of comparison, um, hits and misses type of video. So I'm wearing these. I really like them. I always feel like I'm like a lady when I have long nails because I, I don't like having long nails normally because I feel like they get in the way of me doing things and I don't like how it feels. But then I put them on and I'm like, oh, I feel like so grown up. But yeah. Anyway, um, and then last but not least is this by Bourgeois and it's the Rouge Edition Velvet in Ole Flamingo, which is this very, very bright pink colour. Again, I, I like this in winter when it's like a really grey day and let's say you're wearing all black, and I do tend to wear a lot of all black in the winter. Um, it, I don't know what it is, like I'm not one for really bright colours unless I'm really tanned and it's in the summer anyway, but in the winter when it's a really grey day, I, I want to wear black, like I just fits my mood if that makes sense, I don't know. But then having a pop of colour with something like this I think looks really really pretty. And you all know what 
these I like by now. They last really well, really nice on the lips, comfortable, and I have swatched it just there for you. It's a really, really lovely colour. But yeah, I think like it's really weird with these nails though. I always feel like the beds are too big because I've got really small nail beds, like child size nails. Um, but those are all my beauty products. Then for random favourites, I've got a couple. I've got a couple of YouTube channels that I want to recommend first of all. Um, the first one is Nadine Baggett's channel, which I'm going to put in the description box. She is a beauty editor, has been for like years and years and years, and she does great videos. They're very kind of... Um, they're not too edited, she's very honest, there's lots of really good solid information in there rather than just like random chit chat type of thing and she is beautiful and she's just very very knowledgeable and I really like her videos. Another one is Trini, I want to say is it Woodall, Woodwell? I'm not quite sure what how you pronounce her last name. But basically Trini from, you know, Susanna and Trini's What Not To Wear, which as a child I loved. She has a YouTube channel. She also has a fab Instagram account. If you haven't gone and checked that out, look her up on Instagram because she's really cool. But her videos are amazing. I've gone through them this, like, past two weeks um, and watched all of them. They're long videos, which if you like that, you will really enjoy. I do quite like um, when videos are long. But her, she's very, very energetic and the dynamic on her channel is very kind of fast paced and she's a little bit scatty and all over the place but in a really nice way and she, again she has a lot of great recommendations she did one where she was walking through boots and talking about products that she liked and it was such a good video I mean I, I, I really want to do a video like that but I just they don't like you filming in stores and I think it would be a bit awkward but she does that a lot and it's just a really really great channel so I highly recommend you go and check those out and then um, in terms of like TV shows and that kind of thing I'm still really enjoying Californication I haven't finished it I'll we'll usually watch like a few episodes a week but it's a bit more tricky because it's a show that we both watch so we both have to be in at the same time and um, also I'm a celebrity so I'm at the moment which um, I do watch, I know it's really crap, but I, I like it, I like watching the challenges, I don't know why, I find it really interesting to see who can like have proper game face and be really good at the challenges, um, and I definitely think that the trio it's going to come down to is going to be Joel, Scarlett and Adam, I really really love Scarlett, I didn't know who she was before she went on this because I've never watched Gogglebox, and it's one of those weird things where I hardly watch like any normal TV, we watch Netflix and then we've had Amazon Prime, we've had um, Now TV and all of that kind of thing, but the, just like normal telly that just people watch, you know, come home in the evening and put TV on and like watch, I don't know, some of the soaps or people like on weekends will watch X Factor and um, uh, like Strictly and all those types of programs. I don't watch any of those. So I, a lot of the time I'm not quite sure who these people are. Um, and a lot of the people like bar like Carol Vorderman and that kind of thing on um, Celebrity, I didn't even know who they were. But yeah, I'm really enjoying that. Um, I haven't watched today's. So I've got it recorded, I'm going to have to watch it later on when I get home from work. But that is it. Those are my November favourites. I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know what you've been loving this month. And I will be back with another favourites at the end of December, just before I do my all year favourites, which is really exciting. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you next time. Bye!